Hollow Point is mad to made to expand inside people making it good for hunting and police use since it guarantees what you'll stop and they don't over penetrate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I agree with the lack of over penetration for police use, but you can also just use low powered non hollow point rounds for police issue use and they won't penetrate. Um, or just use disabling weapons rather than lethal ones. I think I think there's a very rare instance where it is okay to use lethal ammunition for police regular use. In a shootout situation when you're being fired at, that's different. In a uh, in a situation wherein you know you're going to be going up against live ammunition, it's different. So the US is a different beast entirely. I'm not even going to touch it. But in South Africa, police do carry ish standard issue firearms with live ammunition. Uh, it's not hollow point, I don't think. Not 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 by default. I think some some units are given license to use so, but it's mostly just FMJ surplus. Um, they're they're armed with revolvers. No, sorry. I think you have a revolver or a sidearm pistol, which nowadays has an electronic tag release attached to it, which is good because they were getting stolen so often. They also have access to um, uh, R1s and R. So no, they have access to R4s and R5s, which are folding and non -fold and fixed stock versions of the Israeli Galil uh, chambered in 5.56 NATO. And they also have access to obviously shotguns, pump action, and otherwise for crowd control. You know, they use the bean bags and rubber bullets and whatnot in those. And then they also have live ammunition shotguns. There was a whole fuck up four years ago where um, they were stored next to each other in the armory and they were issued live ammunition ones instead of dumb dumb rounds. Thankfully, the, none, no one was injured, but the cops realized they were shooting live buckshot um, after they'd already discharged three rounds. It was a huge thing. Because, I mean, like, South Africa's got a history with police brutality, right? With apartheid. And for the new government to be using live ammunition against protesters does not send the message they're hoping to send. Um, even if it was accidental. And so it was very it was very interesting to see the public response to that, which was for in South Africa it's very rare that this happens. It was universally anti-government. Sapoy mutiny was wild. The mutiny is being executed by being strapped to the muzzle of a howitzer? Fucking hell. Alan, I'm gonna need a little bit more context, buddy. What's the Sapoy mutiny? I haven't I haven't come across that before. That sounds like something I should know about. There's just so much shit to know, you know? You can't have all of it off the top of your head. And often when I'm going, when I'm editing, I go back and I notice mistakes I make in my descriptions of, you know, current statuses, war crimes, things like that. Um, I need to figure out a way to like, edit them out live. You know what I mean? What does Trimadol do? Does this make me run good? Removes pain, run good. Loose energy and hydration. I mean, what's that? Three minutes of fast run, no pain. Let's do it. Send it. First time I've seen that, Stim. Got our Warmageddon. We're ready to fight. Immediately runs across the way. Do not, do not use the stamina. Yeah, we're going to get moving now. Okay, we're going to speed run this chat. We're going for the Goshen office is across the way that's not killer make myself scarce oh was that killers gp19 sepoy troops in british army in india revolted in the 1850s massacres all round ugh yeah, dude, that period of history was fucked up. Oh my god, I am running out of food and hydration. No one told me? Okay, we're gonna zero out. Trimadol, uh, Trimadol's a, a hefty beast, clearly. Chat's in the way. Oh, you can't see! Shit! I see this. See how I have erred. I have erred. Okay, hold on. Let's... Um... Chat, you live... No, that's too big. Goshen time? Yeah, you're right, let's go back. Yeah, yeah, just, just go, literally go back the way we came. Yeah, that makes sense. There's like a million foods there, right? The sound is so unintuitive, the swipe. I like, it's so much worse than it ever was before. Like, it was never great, but it was never this bad either, right? Okay, start me off with a combo meal. We are still looking for little Tashankas, by the way. We are at General Wares, so we should keep an eye out. The coming here isn't doing nothing. Oh, good, good. that'll pull people back outside. Perfect. That gives me the opportunity to move over to Ollie. Because that player is very close to where that where I'm trying to go. 
is Dude, this is gonna be a little snack fest. Sauri, pineapple, water. Okay, let's do sauri, then we do uh, then we do pineapple. Hey, I do things! Welcome to the stream! Hey, this is the second stream, right? Hey, look at that! Great to have you here. Welcome aboard. Actually, you know what? Save the pipe. Save this. Use this. Okay, that guy who's got... Th that sounds like a, an AK, right? On full order? They're moving away from me. Uh, let's go through the offices here, I think. What the hell? Uh, T? L? Bracket. How was that aim, gamers? That's the warmer damn it getting dubbed for you. I must have shot most of that into him. I'm fairly sure. Packet chat? I shot that man about a about hundred times, I think. Sus, you reckon? That was a little strange, wasn't it? Four CVR stopped it all. Oh, Pilgrim! Okay, that's the next quest anyway, so that's awesome. Oh, I dropped the mag. Yeah, we are now in danger. Officially endangered. I need to pack a mag. Give me a second. We're gonna go inside this office and pack the mag. Uh, we should we should definitely top this up though before we before we move. Like having two guns is important. Having three gun is important her. Then we'll heal up full and then. Did I, did I get the... I'll check once we're out of the screen. Did I get the the task? I think Kerbal Space Program... No, I did not get the thing. Kerbal Space Program tonight is going to be the most fun I've had streaming since I started. When you're doing EFT on EU servers, is it the whole community stream on Sunday? No, buddy. The community stream on Sunday is for um, Minecraft. Uh, we're not going to do community talk of on EU servers for a little bit. I don't want to... I want to do it like once a month, probably. Just because it's like it's it's so unstable, and if it if I do it right, the, so let me tell you, let me explain the problems. So you understand why I don't do it more often. I have to restart my computer in order to change uh, regions using that software. Okay, like every time you change a region, you got to restart your computer. Um, the what that means is if I'm live streaming, I have to turn off the stream in order to change back to South African servers if it doesn't work. So I only like to do the EU servers if I can test it for a couple days ahead of time on my other account, and then I switch over um, just for that stream, and then I go back. Just because it's more, it's less stable. Because remember, like, even when it's working, I'm getting 175 ping, which means I am 5 ping away from being kicked at any given second. It's, uh, it's not the best. Can't you use VPN? I don't think you know how VPNs work, my man. It's not going to reduce your ping. It'll change your region, doesn't reduce your ping. The ping is the problem. Last stream got hella talk of by BSG. Yes, it did. That was the second last stream. We had one more after that. This is day 12. That was day like 10 and a half. So the software I use to uh, to improve the ping is kind of like a VPN, but for very specific things. So where a VPN just sends your data to a middleman data center to hide what you're doing, the what exit lag does is send your data directly to the other server without going through anyone in between. It optimizes the path that your packets take from your PC to the to the game servers. That's all it does. It's, it's very simple. Um, so what happens, right, is sometimes that path is something's wrong with it. So it's not as good as another day. And genuinely, that's, that's the difference between it working and it not working. Uh, and there isn't really any other software that does it any better than this, you know. It does hurt a bit that I'm paying a fee every month to, like, barely use it, but that's kind of just, you know, cost of doing business, right? In my version of Dense Fog, which is, like, medium in the UK, we don't really get fog in South Africa. It happened once, and I remember everyone like lost their damn mind because no one's used to driving in it here. Because we just never have fog. 
Uh, we're not close enough, like in Johannesburg, I mean, we're not close enough to any large bodies of water to really have it be a problem. Johannesburg's kind of like up on a, it's like up on a plateau. Uh, it's quite, it's quite high above sea level, actually. Not like Argentina high, but pretty high up. Okay, four scam kills, and most importantly, like three quests done. One tap magnum. Ouchies. Okay, rooster goes. We keep the M cable, because it can get us the big backpack at some point. Do we have two pressure gauges? We have one pressure gauges. We need two. Dos pressure gauges. Okay, I'm going to keep these capacitors for now, because I genuinely don't know what we're going to use them for. Turn in the Tashankas, turn in the CPU core, turn in the CPU fan, turn in the GPU. Lots of turn-ins here. So that'll be this one. Bada-bing. That'll be... This one. Where is it? Oh, I did that already. What am I doing? Mechanic. Signal. Farming. Yes. Yes. Ah, it's for fertilizers. It's the one after... It's the one after this. That's what we need the capacitors for, chat. Why don't you tell me? Oh my god. Okay, we got Scout, which is on Factory. We got Signal Part 3, which is on Shoreline. Nice. Oh, don't, don't, don't do that. I think let's get our food junk box next, chat. Um, not to call the food trash or anything, you know. That'd be rude. Uh, let's turn in these before I forget. Now we gotta go back and do Part 2. A lot of interchange today. It's weird how the game goes in phases like that. Well, not weird. I guess it's just, it's just interesting. Damn, these fast load times are just there. They're hitting different these days. Pounding sand even, dude. You have no idea. I was about to... I was about to lay into that garden. Can't wait to turn my PC into the most inefficient heater to run this game. Oh, this, this room's currently at a comfortable, like, 33 Celsius, I'm pretty sure. Um... Emicom spawn, huh? Well, we do need to go to Ollie. Me crunch, if it makes you feel any better, this, this is half a mag of warm again in here. So we're like half as cool as we were last raid. Getting that pilgrim out is a huge win, because we can hand it in right after this. And we got the gazelles. And we got the black rocks. We just need the TB110s. We don't have the Zabralos, though. That's going to be the hard part. Zabralo is going to be tough to do. I think you need to do the Zabralo before you do the Black Rocks anyway, so they're, they're not going anywhere anytime soon. Okay, we are going into daytime now, which is nice. It does mean we'll probably get more player scavs on the way out. Like, you got to keep some tools to do the crafts. But I haven't really been utilizing the hideout all that much. Once you got the flea market, you don't really need it. Um, and the hideout's only useful in conjunction with the flea market when you can sell stuff, which we're not allowed to do. We are simply prohibited. The new plexiglass texture is so weird. I don't know why that's the thing from this whole update that's catching me up, but that's that's the one that hurts the most. Interesting. That was the scav. So did the scav kill the player? I hope you bet no! I am beset by enemies on all sides. What? There are a lot of scavs here, huh? I cannot see anyone. Where? I see the guy on the left. I can't see them. They're not invisible, are they? Surely. No, no, because we saw them. No, I'm just blind. That's a player. 
хуйло! Вот хуйло! Конец тебе! Вот пи***ь! Дабл килл! He's cracked. Holy shit, he's cracked. Holy shit, he doesn't have a light bleed cure. Holy shit, he's gonna bleed out. Next time I come into raid without a light bleed cure, chat, you shoot me in the head. Okay? So save them the effort. Bandage me, please. I'm begging you. Not a bandage. So many scabs. So few bandages. Come on, bandage. Quickly. We're gonna die to this. Our head's gonna black out. Hey, mushroom. Hey, Noah. It's our new editor. Welcome, brother. As you can see, things are going great. I cannot see anything. Every scav in the map is currently zeroing in on this location. None of them have any uh, meds. Please? 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 That is not food. Oh, that's food, but it's not medication. Please. Oh, you motherfucker. Uh, I need to go to Mantis right now. We're gonna die. 100% we're gonna die. I didn't bring meds. Ah, this is a goof. Am I developing asthma? Exactly what's happening. He nailed it. I hope he can run, though. For a man with this much asthma. Don't worry about the grenades going off. Those are ancillary to our concerns right now, okay? My only hope is to go through Mantis. Okay, we're here. Medication. Fuck, this is tense. Please, medication? Any medication at all? I don't need disinfectants. We're gonna die. We're actually gonna die. The one time I want to see a bandit in this room. Come on, baby. That'll do it. That'll stop the bleed. Okay, we live. But not very well. Our quality of life has been severely compromised by our current situation. Holly Logistics. Ah, round two, baby. Still no bandage, though. True. But Zagustin stops bleeds. Yeah. But still no bandage, though. Okay. Okay. Now we start, uh... You can't surgery your head! I forgot. Like, you didn't lose the stomach. Definitely be dead if you lost the stomach. Man's gonna bust? Dude, this guy, is, he's edging it right now. For sure. Hello? <laughs> I was dead before he turned the corner. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm pretty sure that magazine had one bullet in it because it didn't shoot more than once. The, what matters is that we had fun. <laughs> You only died because you weren't running Warmageddon. Yeah, it's probable. It's, you know, listen, we don't have enough data points to say either way definitively. Okay, chat, this time I am actually going to take a little break. I'm very, I'm very tired and uh, I've been streaming for two and a half hours without, three hours without break. I'm going to go touch some grass, quite literally. I'll be back in two minutes. Okay, don't go anywhere. Or, or go away, I'm not your boss, do whatever you want. Oh, oh my dude, that grass, it really is greener in the other room, let me tell you. It's crazy. It's crazy out there. Okay. What the hell? How long have we been here? Oh, like, two minutes? It's fine. Hit that. No, less than a minute. Okay, let's just do a quick uh, few spot checks. Full auto. Full mag of FMJ. Okay. Okay. Back into Ali. Pretty much the same run as last time. Hopefully this time with less uh, less immediate death. Now yeah, losing that M4 was not it was not a huge loss to the world of Tarkov. Uh, in fact, if anything, it's probably better that it never sees the light of day again. It was cursed from the get go. I hate that we've got a different sound profile now with these different headphones. I see a man down there. Got a boost, got a boost. Can you do the fandango? He's dead. Sniped by an SMG. Add insult to injury. I be spitting bars while there's people sitting next to me. Everybody asking where I get my hair from. I be saying that it's for my prom. Hmm. They say my. Rhythm is unmatched because I'm so fucking snatched. They never see me at the club because I be hitting up the pub. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. I'll be here all year. <laughs> oh. Stream died. Stream good. Uh, everyone left after my little uh, rap, epic rap battle of history. Well, it just shows to show how few people can appreciate true culture. Okay. It just goes to show. That is going to become a good song. A <laughs> full song. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> what have I done? Maybe we can take on... Um, uh, what was the guy who did the... Driving down in my feet. You only had to see it. Six feet four in a compact... Uh, that, that, I, it wasn't a very relatable tune, to be honest, uh, being uh, being six foot nine myself, you know. Wait, I think there might be some established lore in that regard. I think I'm officially seven foot twelve. Uh, I think that's how that works. I'm uh, 23 foot 14. All these little short kings around me be telling me that they... Oh, dude, I've lost it. Hold on. <laughs> it was a hit. I don't know if that was a kill, though. Decidedly not a kill. And that's a scab. <laughs> okay, they've improved the AI the way it moves. There's another one. The kick's a little more than I was anticipating. There we go. Jesus. Whoa. Whoa. I think you were 180 dead. Yeah, I think I was. 180 centimeter girth. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's the that's the that's the, the torso with <laughs> Mr. Big. Have you guys ever seen Pete and Baz? It's like these two old dudes in the UK who they spit the purest fire. Motherfuckers, they do be dragons, let me tell you, because they are, they be spitting flame. It's insane. They are, unironically, like, my favorite artist at the moment. I cannot stop listening to them. I sent that to you. You sent me, but I, I actually came across them independently, separately, on, I didn't realize it was them, though, um, on their song Mr. Worldwide. It's, it's like, 
unironically my favorite song at the moment. No, no, no. Party Time by the Northern Boys is a different group. I'm talking about Pete and Baz. I would love to play it on stream, but it's copyrighted. If this was Twitch, we could do it. Um, oh, well. Huh. Sir, take me on a date before you offer me that kind of evening. Damn, son. I'm hooked on music by Tom Cardi at the moment. Uh, of um, Peaky of, uh, of of Legends fame. A shootout is a fucking shootout, right? <laughs> oh, Tom Cardi. <laughs> I was like, I don't think Tom Hardy makes music. I think this is like the fifth time that this exact misunderstanding has played out. The Northern Boys are retired English teachers. I feel their pain. Dude, just thinking about. I'm, I'm considering going back to Korea, guys, just to get away from the load shedding. And man, the thought of having to teach children again makes me want to, like, consume glass by the spoonful. We're focusing on quests today. Quests have been focused on. We are now going to hand this in and get a chunk of rewards and experience. And now we can finally go to a different map. That's kind of like the... That was the, that was the real legwork we had to do to get through the... That was the hump we had to get over for this trader. We are currently at... We are at level 22, 20,000 to 20 to level 23. This will, this might actually take a huge chunk of the change out of that. Uh, let's have a look here. There we go. 8,000, that's halfway there. And another car battery. Dude, we can finish. Wait, that means we finish car repair too, right? Because we need two more and we have two more in our rewards. And that's another 6.9k. 6. Nice. Um, Take that. Accept. And then... Take that, accept, and then yes, hold, hold, done, completed, excelente. Dude, are you seeing this gameplay? It's insane. Uh, so where's the next task? Right, man? Gratitude. Gotta do gratitude next. South Africa could do with decentralized power, spam panels, and water mills where possible. That's what we're moving towards now, Senate. So... Uh, we currently work on a centralized power model, right? Where we have one state utility ESCOM that controls distribution, but not production. They control the majority of production, but not all of it. There are power, private power producers, but up until now, there had been a hard cap on the amount of power they could independently produce. I think it was 100 megawatts. So very small, right? Um, I stand to be corrected on that, though. I don't know the exact number. What's happened is the government has now removed that cap. So private investment can actually come and build a 2.5 gigawatt solar farm or wind farm or whatever right and um and then sell it back to the grid at a at a, an agreed upon premium uh, which will be fairly low as i understand it isn't cape town moving entirely away from escom yes and that's what i'm trying to, well from escom's production not from their distribution so escom still owns the distribution network in the country which i think is a good thing because that means that private companies cannot arbitrarily cut people off Right, so because because like accountability would be quite difficult to enforce with the private corporation, but with the government you have administrative law and the constitution and all sorts of things holding them accountable. So you have legal remedies if they fuck around, um, which is currently what's playing out, right? But if it was privatized, the distribu distribution was privatized. I think we'd be in big trouble because then companies could just be like, no, we don't sell to this area, sorry. Or they could put in practice policies that would force people to move to areas where they do sell. Um, and so I think that I think privatizing or opening production up to the private market is a very good move. And that's what they're moving towards. But I really do not think we should denationalize the grid. I think that would be uh, suicidal. I think that would I think we would end up in the same situation, but without any of the accountability mechanics we currently have availability to. That's just like my lawyer's uh, view on it. Right. Is that uh, I think we'd be in a much worse place if we were using uh private distribution networks you need an ak-12 mag for gunsmith yeah yeah but we're not playing hardcore brother we can just buy them look we're gonna have to kill together and he always has them so and we'll get them off raiders and stuff i'm not and scans like ak-12 mag's not hard to come by it's not like the 60 rounders or the the m4 60 rounder god that's a pain in the ass we should see if we can do the 870 i think i've got all the stuff i need for it i think i have the stock um that would be a nice way to finish off today would be the getting gunsmith done also, sorry, I'm trying to help a friend here. He's in a weird predicament. And like, like these aren't problems that happen to normal people, but this is problems that happen to him all the time. He is, so, how do, where do I even start? 
Okay, so he's like a he's like a Twitter celebrity, right? In South Africa. Like a minor niche internet celebrity. Enough that he gets like a lot of like, you know, salacious DMs where people are like, hey, I want to sit on your head, kind of thing. I'm 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 paraphrasing for the captions here. Um, in a fun playhouse kind of way. I, I want to sit on your face in Minecraft, is what they're saying. <laughs> And uh, in Roblox. And so he's currently... Oh god, it's dark, chat. I thought it would be lighter than this. Why is it so dark? Did we go morning or evening? Have I goofed? Anyway, so he has been approached by a woman on Twitter for like over a year who wants to hook up with him. So he meets up with her in person. I had to give him a lift there, so I was part of all this. He, um, he meets up with her. They start chatting, right? She turns out to really not be a good match for him. She's quite bratty, very entitled, not his style. So he decides he's he's outies. But then it comes up that she's been hanging out with his ex-girlfriend. Like the only girl who ever broke his heart kind of thing. So he stays in this conversation just to like keep the keep the chat going. And he's like, um, what the hell? Uh, why are you hanging out with this person? And then she's like, oh, well, yeah, well, you hang out with these people who were mean to me. And he's like, what do you mean? And he's like, this girl who you've been hanging out with is mean to me, so I'm going to continue to hang out with this other person you don't like, which is your ex-girlfriend. And he's like, uh, okay. So then he's in, like, a moral quandary. He's like, the person I hang out with was very mean to this person, but they're really hot, and I want to hang out with them more. So what do I do? And I was like, you should just, uh, I think you should break contact with the original person because they're really annoying. Um, I met them. And he was like, okay, so now he's gone to have lunch with the the, the, the mean girl, right? And um, within seconds, she she solicited him for a threesome uh, with his current partner and asked him to um, walk her through it because uh, she's been she's been she was she thought she was asexual for a while. Now she's not thinking that anymore, and uh, she wants to she wants to walk the walk with my boy. So he's DMing me about this right now, and I'm just there like, oh well, Sturman's here. Fuck. This is gonna be exciting. Because he can see us. We can't see him. But yeah, so I was like, I was like, buddy, these are not like normal people problems. I can't advise you. Like, what do you what do you mean? You I, I just like what? You know? Anyway, that's my trauma. How are you guys doing? Dude, when the septum piercing 14 tattoos, six cats having dummy mommy is like, hey, I wanna hook up. What do you do? I'll be real with you, Miles. Who asked? That's fair. Uh, absolutely no one. Fuck, dude. We are in danger right now. This is so stupid. I should not do this right now. Okay. Oh, it's 20 seconds now. Not 30. Alright, so we don't have to do this for two minutes. We've got to do this for one minute 20. Still feels like a very long time. Oh, God. This is tense. The, the fucking scav boss is up there looking at us right now. I know it. I just know it. Okay, so how are we gonna... I want to kill Sturman. So how are we gonna do this? Do we go super wide up onto the rock and snipe down? I think that's how we do this. Because we got the range. And it'll be easier to see from up there as well because of the way the textures load in the game. Okay, well first we gotta get through this. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Okay, that's the two face coverings. Now for the glasses. Ooh. Ooh. This is why you do this at night, by the way, if you're wondering. It's because it's freaking suicide in the daytime. We need a who asked emoji. I think that's uh, I think that's coming up on the list. Turn up, turn up your gamma and in NVIDIA controls. Hey, Troy, how you doing? Um, so, oh, Tro Toy, sorry. Hey, Toy. Troy Mackin. Uh, uh, what's his name? BSG is currently banning people. How nice of them, huh? For doing that. It's real bullshit. I cannot see fucking any. Like, the night looks so good in this game. I wish you guys could see what I see, which is slightly more than what you see. Admittedly. Yeah, okay, we're gonna get full stam and then we're gonna run down. Into that little hut there. Is that him? No. The boss is here. This would be a great opportunity to get some... I heard footsteps in front of me.
Is he in front or behind me? I can't tell. There. Oh! We hit him at the same time. We hit each other at the same time. <laughs> Damn it. I think I might have traded there. No! Oh, I shot at the same moment. We hit him. Hit him in the arm. Oh, I was just, I was trying to point fire it. I was just off. Did that finish the task? It did. Okay. That's all that really matters there. Now we need Sales Knight, which is level 30. Okay. So what am I, what am I locked behind, chat? Why am I not getting the, the Pilgrim turn-in task? What's that locked behind? Uh, so it good. Okay. Uh, what do we want to do to finish off today? We've got, let's say like 15 to 20 minutes. I think that sounds like factory. And I think it sounds like, let's go try and kill two more USEX. So this is a good factory kit. Uh, you know what would be an amazing factory kit? Is this right here. Hell yeah. This is the stuff. Take it just like this. By the way, we are one subscriber away from hitting 2,700. So who wants to be subscriber number 2,700? If you're watching this and you're not subbed, hit that button. Push us over the line. Uh, make my day. Make my day. What is the best way to cut food? Okay, it's a slight change from the poll in chat, I understand. A knife, scissors, what are our other options? A knife, scissors, harsh language, harsh words, post. Probably play the game, huh? Go vote in the community poll. That man just got evaporated. Быстро. Вали хуйсос. Give me some more gun. I appreciate more gun. Really have the laser on. Helps with the spread. Hello. No one. No one here. Ah, uh, South African servers. They just do be like that sometimes. Knife, spoon, spife? Indeed. Glad to see we've got such eloquent gamers in chat today. I want to see you all going over to the community tab and voting, please. Okay? I'm tired of, I'm tired of this argument. I pressed R instead of E. Really? 80% of people are saying knife. Uncultured. Alright, let me tell you something. In South Korea, okay, they cut everything with scissors. And it is so convenient. Sure, it's a little weird. But you have, like, your food scissors. Nice. I'll take a, take a daily completion. bit of knackle. I should really stop turning off this laser. We just need to leave it on. A nork? Dude, I am, I'm a nork believer. Listen, you they cut everything with scissors and it is like super convenient. Do you know how easy it is? Listen, just humor me. Next time you get a steak at home in the privacy of your kitchen where you feel no shame from your peers, okay? I want you to get your kitchen scissors, give them a good wash and cut your steak with it. Watch how much easier it is. 
if you kind of get into like strips or something. Bro, it turns out scissors cut stuff good. Who'd have thunked it? Why though knife is fast enough? It's not about why, it's about why not. <laughs> oh, I need to do scout. We should we need to run to all the all the hot spots on, on, on the map. Uh, which means I need to go here, there, there, there. Yeah. It's 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 only it's four locations or three? It's four. Cellars. This back room. That's just shat my pants right there. Oh nice, you don't have to go in anymore. That's cool. Homie was living. I mean, upgrades. I know I haven't touched a few of the bodies as well. I don't care about the experience. We're just uh, we're here for quests, okay? Progressing. The the first few episodes were such slow progression. I really want to ramp it up like crazy. If we're gonna get max traders, we're gonna have to have to hustle a bit here. Ding. Okay, next. Okay, now we gotta go to the back, then through the office, out the front, and we're done. Knife is for stabby stabby? Exactly. Scissors for slicey slicey. Or cutty cutty, I guess. And not the one from House MD, am I right? Whoa. What a babe. Just get Stam. My man is asthmatic. I always forget that about him. Let's pop this propitol, just in case he's. I think I'm gonna dehydrate. Was it that decision? Uh, we can go this way. I'm going the quote unquote safe route. There's more likely to run into player scavs. But that's okay. Is one above me? The scab over there. Might be able to get him here. He ran the other way. Okay, one more. Oh, dude, getting scout duck per try would be very nice. This usually takes me a few attempts. It's it's hard. It's a hard. Player scav. You were wondering. I know you were. Hello. He went up into the office. He is running on the ground floor of the office. He goes this way now. This is grounds for repositioning. Footsteps to my right, which means I need to reposition through here.
I love this map. So well designed. This last one's going to be the hard fight. Oh, SMGs. Look, I'm going to have to sell it after this. We haven't got any ammo, but it has been a lot of fun. Okay. I hear him. He's inside the office on my left. All we need to just delay them enough. Right. Just joint the backpack. Ah, uh, actually, next time. Good call. 2,700 subscribers. Thank you, Kufu. Really appreciate the support there. Were you the were you the were you the final click? That's quite a. Uh... Oh, can someone can we listen? I never ask, but can someone give that man a, a membership if he was? That's uh, that's something to celebrate. 2,700 guys. We were we were at 800 subs this time last year. 800. 800. 2,700. Oh my god, I'm literally wringing my hands. <laughs> Gobbo mode, activate. We finished quite a bit of stuff there. That was our daily, and and we also finished Scout, which used to give you a graphics card. Does it still? No, unfortunately not. It gives you a factory key. That's almost as good. Now it's going to reserve. Nice. That's easy to do. Complete that. Just a little bit of money. Alright, 54,000 is actually quite a, quite a lot of money. Okay, very good. Uh, what's the time? 34. Hmm, I think we can do... Let's, let's go until we lose a kit here. You know what? Let's try and do our bolt action kills. Uh, what are you saying there, Senate? Review fantasy and sci-fi weapons from the games media and list the war crimes those weapons breach. Sure. I mean, that's interesting. Yeah, actually. That's, uh... It'll require a bit of research. I'm not... Like, my specialty is not, um, weapon... Actually, that's not true. My specialty is weapon restrictions. I mean, it's more on, like, the trade side than it is on the manufacturing. But that'd be interesting to learn. 90% will probably be 40k weaponry. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know what? Surprisingly, Star Trek and Star Wars have some pretty fucking nasty stuff. Like, the disintegrators and the disruptors. That's messed up, dude. Because, like, you can't destroy corpses in war. Um, you, it's, it's, you can't desecrate corpses. And so, like, disintegrating somebody... And thus making it impossible for their families to be notified of their demise. Uh, that would be a war crime. Um, but not for the reasons you think. See, that's the thing. is Often you get to these these issues roundabout ways, you know. Because obviously the uh, Geneva Conventions of... Can I pause the thing? The Con Geneva Conventions of like 1948 don't really encapsulate napalm. Um, they do talk about incendiary weapons. But that's more in the Hague regulations than it is about the Geneva Conventions. And the reason that they even come up at all, actually, is because the the Geneva Conventions, sorry, uh, they talk about preventing indiscriminate attacks and superfluous or unnecessary damage, and napalm is both of those. So that's why the Geneva Conventions cover it, but it's not explicitly mentioned in them, which you will see in every single fucking video on the topic in the comments section. Just have a bunch of American flags and anime profile pictures telling you that, uh, <laughs> actually, napalm is not a war crime to use. And you're just like, no, you stupid, stupid idiot. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Chat, you, you guys know more about the world than I do, because on account of being more people. Why are anime profile pictures on the internet almost always awful to talk to? Like, what's that about? Was it like a convention? Everyone came to an agreement or something and I missed it. Is that a dude? Not a dude. Check the old jackets. Someone here. Scav, I think. Uh, 
serious. Is he just exploring? Why did he come over here? Don't see the guys up there. Hit him in the arm. <sighs> Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, baby! <laughs> We're not going to kill him. I got stuck on the... So, so because this game is made by people who've never been outside, um, in Tarkov... Let me, let me just switch over here. Sorry, this isn't salt. This is just genuinely kind of funny. So in Tarkov, your PMC can walk on flat surfaces. No problem, right? You can walk up a slope. Uh, that way, no problem. The second, there's like a bump. So I don't even know how to... How would one... So you could walk on the United Nations tan book. No problem, right? Second, there's a bump in Tarkov. What your guy does, because he's an elite trained uh, military operator, is he walks towards it, and then he gets and he just stops, and then he does like this, right? Just right, right in front of the obstacle, because to go over it would not be tactical. You see, that's where you have to jump in Tarkov. So, so you walk up to the ledge while someone's shooting at you, and you do this, just like that. It's it's it's, it's pretty straightforward, to be honest. And then. Uh, once you're being shot, then sometimes you'll remember to press the button and then you go like that and then, and then you die. That's the, and that's, that's crazy. That's how Tarkov do. Also chat, why the hell are you on the side of the screen? Go over there. Huh? You don't belong here. Here we go. And of course, a huge thank you to our channel members and patrons for this month. Couch Potato, The Senate, Kelly Ananas, Call Me Bo 82 Riley David, LCG Canyon Sahar, Knee Cruncher, Old Man Tater, Frickin' Friendly Beaver, Not K Arthur, Cut Beef Go Ham, Jack Smallman, Rivo, Adachi, I'm Alpha, King, Alan Osella Chair, Sella Hair, Gragnar Skull Crew, Raija, Rob, Depoyo44, Pratham Barush, Sleep Deprived Sam, Badass Beast, Charlie Weber, Mermix, Mel Romans, Officer C4, Ooh, Yan the Pan, Cairo, Kili Thaza, Eve Roxanne, Kodiak, Dimitri Liako, CCMD, Wedgie FRG, Lunar Shots, Darky, Hedrick Ebert, Black Omega 9, The Emperor, Dennis Feros, Big Bird 18th, Josh Thompson, Chad Farista, Mermix 42, and Millennium Dawn. You guys all rock.